today. Okay, that mouse is gonna be the death of us. I, I'm, it's not when we get a desk. No, that's right. <laughs> it doesn't work on the desk. I mean, well, our desk got here today. I know. Who's gonna put it together? Well, I can. That's gonna be I a got, project. I got a good arm. It's gonna be a project. Yeah. Hey everybody, oh. we got TikTok. What's up with this us. weather? It's. I don't know. It's cool. nice and cool. I know. Nice and cool. Um, if you're just joining us for the first time on TikTok, we go live every Wednesday at noon, and we show you wigs, we show you products, we give you advice, we do all sorts of things. And we talk about stuff that doesn't have anything to do with wigs. Yeah. Like the weather. Like your trash can. What, what, oh. What, well, yeah, what, hap what happened with your trash can, Misty? Did you get a, a new one? We're not gonna. That is. We're dying. We are history. dying to know about your trash can. Nobody wants to know about a trash can. I do. Okay. Well, I'd like. So, to, I'd like to hear the story again because I. No, I'm not telling this. <laughs> well, I will because it's gonna get me all worked up again. Someone took my trash can, my outside trash can, when they. But anyway, I got a new one. They said they deliver those on Thursdays. No. Okay. So Thursday comes along. I I'm home all day because it's my day off. Okay. I am she tells, wait, she tells me on Wednesday, I am perched by the window, and I am watching for that man to bring me my I am, because I want can. my good trash can that I keep clean. Hey, Lori. And so I am listening. I don't hear anything all day. I don't. I leave the, the house for maybe an hour and a half, go to the grocery store, come home, didn't hear nothing. Friday morning, guess what? I'm on the phone with the city. You know, I'm like, what? She comes in, she goes, there is still that dirty, nasty trash can in my yard, and they didn't pick it up. So what did they tell you? They said, well, it shows that, you know, they said that they did it and that, you know, it's they did it at such and such time. I'm like, well, I was home. They didn't do it. I don't know where they took my trash can, but they didn't do it. Called them a liar, basically. I did. Well, I go out there and open it up, and sure enough, it is a new one. So but I because had it had rained, it had little um, a little dust and rain on it, and it went, I think Misty expected, like, this pristine, well, that's what it was last sparkling time. It was trash shiny. can I could with a bow that says, Misty's new trash can. I could almost see my reflection in it. <laughs> <laughs> did you call him back? Yes, I did. It was after hours, and I left a message, and I'm like, look, I am so sorry. I I am so sorry, and apologized and said they did do what they were supposed to do, and I'm sorry I called them a liar. I didn't, I didn't actually say they were a liar. I didn't no, say she liar. was very nice. I was here when she was on the phone. She was very but nice. Inside but inside, I was calling them a liar. Inside, I was raging. Yeah. But I didn't hide my feelings well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but yeah. guess what I did this morning before I came to work? Because today's trash day. Put your trash out. Did you put your address on it? I did. I put a big 650 in gold letters right on top. From your cricket? Yes. Right on top. So that if anybody goes to put trash in it, they're going to know it's not theirs because their address is not 650. Anyway. <laughs> my life She's is, glowing. <laughs> my life is complete now. Hi, Jackie. Hi, everybody. Oh, goodness. We're going. We're going. We're going. All right. Well, y'all, someone asked about your shoulders. Why don't you tell them? If, if, you're, if you can see us on TikTok, you can see her contraption. Yeah. But on YouTube and Facebook, you can't. So. Hi, Carol from Roberta's Boutique. Boutique. Ooh, what kind of Boutique do you have, Carol? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm healing well. I think I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm being a good patient. You know, last week when she said... I got two good legs. And I said, don't say that because I know her and I've known her a decade now. Don't say that. Well, what'd she do? She falls off the step ladder. Yeah, I, I just, I strained my um, quad muscle. Yeah, well, it hurts. her straining's giving me a strain. It hurts I'm real bad. this right. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts real bad, but it's better today than it was the other day because the other day I was having trouble walking, but I'm getting there. Oh, goodness. So now I'm not allowed on the step ladder. Well, I mean... It's this tall. Who, who falls off of something that tall? I meant, I thought I had my foot in a different place than what it was. <laughs> but I didn't fall on my shoulder. I just landed real hard on my leg. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, goodness. All right. So, we're showing you all sorts of things today. There is a lot of stuff going on. But we're doing something that we haven't done in a really long time. Kim had a really good idea since she's not able to do this number and put on wigs and um, everybody wants to see my look up. It's not just me. So, um, well, you look good in everything. So, we're doing products. Yes, we get asked about products all the time, and they're now 
there are so many products for wigs. Back in the day, you know, and we still talk to people that have worn wigs for 30 and 40 years and um, talk about how back in the day, all you had was like Woolite or Downy. And now they make, they formulate products for every need you might have with a synthetic wig. Yes, they do. Now, these, the, what we're going to show you, they're not all the products that we carry, but they're some of the ones that we use on the regular. Um, some of them every single day, some of them every now and then. But we're just going to quickly run through them, and we'll start with what we use to clean them. Yes. Okay, can I just yeah. interrupt? Hair you wear. Shampoo. It's been back order for two years, as most of you know. It was supposed to be here in the first week in January, um, May, then the third week of May. And I called on the Wednesday on the third week of May. And now they say the first week of June. So we're not showing you those products, even though we really, we, really well, we like the... Oh, we are. Okay. We really, really <laughs> like the hair you wear, um, cleanse and restore. You just can't get your hands on it right now. Uh, Carol that has the the boutique says so she has mastectomy products for and for she has people. wigs clothing accessories swimsuits yeah Ooh. Put, just drop your link in the comments and that way if anybody is looking for that then they'll be able to just go and yeah see what you got oh hi Solange hi Solange Solange was in town with us she's from New York City and she came in and her and her little dog Elsie yes so cute precious little dog okay. So. All right. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about hair you wear for a minute because yes, um, the products are great. We just don't have them in stock, and nobody does. But but we do hopefully soon. So okay. this is the same thing of the full size, but we are only able to get the travel size, which I kind of think is odd. I mean, if you can fill up this size bottle, can't you fill up a bigger bottle too? But um, we have the travel size. These are all um, compliant with the airline regulations, but. In the meantime, even if you're not traveling and you love this product like we do, I am actually using, I get one of these out. I love the Restore. It's my favorite leave-in conditioner. It does not coat the wig. I use this every time that I use the hot air brush, but we'll get to in a minute. But this contains, you want to tell them what it has in it? It's got shampoo, conditioner, and then uh, pump hairspray. Yeah, the... Um, their products are called Cleanse, Restore, and then Shape is the pump hairspray. So these are in stock right now, and it's $20. It's great value. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the one thing that we were asking is, well, when we finally get these products, are the prices going to go up? And she assured us no, but that's probably only for the first shipment <laughs> because we've been waiting so long. But these, these are great. These are great. All right. So the other brands that we carry? Uh, we carry John Renault. And so John Renault numbers their system. So you've got one, two, three, four. Um, I got the wrong one. We don't have a two. I got the wrong one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this is the shampoo, and the two is the um, leave-in conditioner. Yes. So, it looks just like this, but it has a number two, and yeah. it's a leave-in conditioner. Then when you get into number three, that's the HD detangler. Is that what that right. is? Right. Which, I'll be honest, I don't hardly ever use this. Okay. I don't. I still just, even if you have a heat defiant wig, I mean, they have two products for heat defiant. They have a HD smooth detangler and what's the other one called? The fiber, this. Fiber Love, Wig Luster. No. Um, I can't remember. But it's 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 the number to Spray gel? Like no, it <laughs> says HD. There's two HD <laughs> products. They have a spray gel. I mean, like I said, we have a whole lot more products than we're going to show you, so I just kind of picked out some of the best. But, yeah, the, the thing about the John Renault, it's great for long wigs. If you have a shorter wig, sometimes I think the conditioner gets a little heavy. So that's just my honest opinion. I love the, the shampoo. It smells really great. Yeah, it does um, smell good. But I can't help but still love that. Here you wear. I know. And then the other shampoo and conditioner, I thought we'll just do all cleansing. Um, Aesthetica, you've got Nourish and Renew, and then you've, and this is the conditioner, then you've got Cleanse and Clarify. Um, this stuff, the, I think Aesthetica smells the best, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, this is not a leave-in conditioner. This is something that you're going to put in the water and make another tub of water like you did with the shampoo. You'll do it with the conditioner. Or you can mix this in a spray bottle. Uh, what's the... 
Okay, this is an eight ounce bottle. I don't have any scientific measurements for any of this. I put about a nickel size and then the rest water and shake it. It's And the thing of it is it doesn't dissolve all that great, so I usually shake it every time I use it. But in a pinch, if I don't have the restore from here you wear it, this works great. Yeah. Um, yeah, and another thing, if you have long wigs, that conditioner from Aesthetica is it's really good. It softens them up really good. Not really sure how it works on heat defiant. I don't know. Um, we'll have to ask Marsha because Marsha is the queen of what gets the wigs the cleanest and keeps them. I mean, she can make. She has one client that has wigs that are like four years old and they're long and they still look good when she gets yeah. done with them. Um, so Marsha's the queen of that. So if you have questions, we'll direct those to Marsha. Okay, so now. All right. That shampoo. Let's do, what do you want to do now? Well, well, let's do, um, what did you do with the wig luster? Okay. There are two products that are shine stuff. This is wig luster, and that's revitalize and shine. Yeah. That's Aesthetica. This is John Renault. You can kind of tell by the labeling. Some people like their wigs shiny, and sometimes when um, your wigs get older, you yeah. just want a little bit of shine. A lot of times people don't want any shine at all. I will say that the Wig Luster by John Renault is a little bit heavier. And so that little bottle right there will last you a long time. This isn't near as heavy. This is, you can actually use this probably every day, whereas that one I wouldn't use very often. Okay, let's address the shine on the wigs. Um, Misty's got on May by Noriko. It is not her personal wig. And so normally we would spray dry shampoo to make it uh, not be so shiny, but we've got two things going on. We've got really bright lights and it makes it look shinier than what it normally would look anyway so yeah um, but I, we are going to demonstrate some something to do that so yeah. on on one of my personal wigs okay so go moving right along what do you want to okay. do next um what happens if you want to build volume there you go all right this is called this is oh, the oligo powder powder pump powder pump and this is so great because it releases just a very controlled amount of spray. If you can see. Oh, oh just that just puff. Happy. And so if you want to build volume in your wig without teasing on it, you can lift up pieces and spray underneath. And then you then you can. Look at TikTok. It looks like it's snowing. Oh, it does. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> it's like, oh. But that allows you to build volume without teasing and it washes out. Um, you, they do a small controlled spray because if you put too much in it, it's going to gum it up. So it, with that amount of spray, it's pretty easy to control. But this stuff yeah, is great. And you just have to keep in mind, if you've never used a texture powder before, it does have a feel to it. So um, it's not going to have a whole like hairspray, but it adds like a grittiness. So when you put it in, you're always like, can said, concentrate the root and just know it's going to feel weird. Yeah. I mean, it's going to look good, but it's going to feel a little weird. It'll feel like product. Yeah. So, um, but it does work great. It yeah. works great. All right. Okay. Well, what if you want it to be PC? PC? We have a couple. Before we go straight to PC. Okay. Let's talk about this dry shampoo. Because I have a brand new wig. I have a new Natalie. And it's never had anything in it. So this would be, I thought, a good idea to demonstrate the pick-me-up. Yes. Um, this is the best dry shampoo. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And so this is my brand new wig. It's Natalie from John Renault, and the color is FS10. Carol. I never even put a brush to it. Thank you. Yeah, the other number three product is Heat Treat Thermal Spray. We just could not remember. So this is what it looks like with nothing in it. I'm going to actually take this down because it's going to... You want to go? Yeah. Nobody can see. Um, well, let's hold it. Can you do it up here right here? I have a good arm. So give it a shake every now and then. And don't be afraid to really put it on if it's new. I don't want to suffocate us in here. with <laughs> This John Renault uh, dry shampoo, the molecules are tiny. And so it doesn't give you those white streaks that sometimes um, other dry shampoos do. Now, I kind of overdo mine to where it looks a little muted because I know I'm gonna put some more product in it. So don't think if you put it in there and it looks all white, that it's gonna stay that way. I do that on purpose, especially when I get a new wig. The very first thing I do is dry shampoo it and then I do texture products in it. And then usually maybe by the second time I wash, I don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. So now, 
Let's talk about texture. All right. This is part of John Renault's styling line. It's part of the number four series. This is Peace Out Cream. This is amazing. Do you want to do this or? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Because we're going to show you a comparison, which we did a video on the wig wax, and then we've done the Peace Out Cream before. But I want to show you the difference. So I have this one. And then I have my jet that doesn't have anything but wig wax, and I'm going to put a little bit more in there for you. But as you can see, it kind of knocked down that shine a little bit. And I know that this looks crazy under these lights, but y'all, I love this wig. Okay. All right, so this is Peace Out Cream. Misty's going to show us how it works. Lori wants to know what she can use for dry ends. Oh, gosh. You know, the thing about dry ends, it's the same with hair, human hair. I mean, once that end is split and dry, no amount of product is going to repair it. I mean, so the best thing to do if you have dry ends, if you have a heat defiant, you can kind of um, flat iron it out if you have a heat defiant, but really you're only going to get those off there if you cut them. So, all right, so the Peace Out Cream looks like this. You can tell this is a well-loved product because it's almost empty. I don't know how many we've gone through, but any type of pomade or any type of wax, anything that you're going to use, um, you're gonna start small. I mean, you're gonna layer it up just kind of like your foundation for your, your face. So if you put too much, you're gonna have to just wash it out and start over, But so you wanna start small. Um, I took off all of my jewelry because I'm about to show you why. I use my fingernail and I go in here and I pick up maybe like a pea size amount and I put it in the palm of my hand, okay? A lot of people will just put this stuff on their fingertips and do this which that's all fine and dandy, but you're getting the bulk of the product from the mid shaft to the end, and it's gonna really weigh it down. So you're gonna put this in your hand and then emulsify it, like you were putting lotion on. I even go in between my fingers, and it really distributes the product. I don't even have any on my fingertips. So I do that, and then I come in here and go to the root, and act like I'm scratching my head, okay? So I'm getting that product in at the root. And I don't have a mirror, so y'all just gonna have to focus on, you know, not me. And then I know I kind of want a little bit more. So I'm going to come in here with another pea size amount in the palm of my hand. I'll be like, oh. <laughs> in between my fingers and then at the root. See all that volume I'm getting just from that cream? And then once I get the volume I want, then I can use my fingertips to start kind of putting things in place not losing the volume, but then I can start kind of making it a little bit more PC to look like I've got, oh, that cute little, you know, who knows? I may go back and put some more in this after I play with it a while, but usually at this point, after I put Peace Out Cream in twice, then I'll just hit it with, we talked about this earlier, the Shape, this is the Hairspray Pump by Hair You Wear, and it's a working spray. So the difference in an aerosol and a pump is generally the pump's gonna it's gonna dry slower so you've got more time to kind of work with it works great on short wigs so I'll just put a little bit and the full size of the shape is strangely available so just get that in there then use your fingers and it really starts well, to hold cute. that wig pretty darn cute and what if I spent like 30 seconds 45 seconds a minute maybe and I've got my new, brand new wig with dry shampoo. Someone was asking what it is. That's a Natalie in FS10. I love this wig. Yeah. The highlights are real uh, chunky and the, it's just, a, it's a pretty color. Yeah, I it's know. It's a it's... cooler color. It's not going to, it doesn't have warmth to it. So if you like the darker colors with uh, that are cool with some highlights, this is not going to have a gold highlight. Yeah, it's it's a really good contrast. I don't make hardly anything Hi, Steven. Like this. Glad you're here. Thank you. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, jo Natalie by John Renault. Natalie comes in an average cap and a petite cap. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice and stretchy. At, I mean, I have an average to large size head, so this fits me nice and stretchy, and it's nice and cool. Yeah. What else do we have for texture, Kim? Um, I don't know. Oh! How could I say I don't know? <laughs> we have, by Tress Allure, the Wig Wax. And this is a relatively newer product for us. We love it. Yeah, and it, it works 
a lot like the peace out cream it's a little bit easier um, if you're not used to working with the creams and obviously now I need to wash my hands because it did leave a residue but I have my other wig that I've worn a long time. Okay, Wendy wants to know if you do all, if you get it all set, do you have to keep messing with it throughout the day? No, mm -mm. it's gonna stay. No, generally when I put it on, I do hairspray my wigs. I like products. I mean, I'm a hairstylist. So Kathy, we're sure. so excited to see you tomorrow. But yeah, I like products. So now this is my um, Aesthetica Jet, and this does have a little bit of the Tressler wig wax, but I wanna show you the difference in how it styles differently than Peace Out Cream. So, I mean, it definitely wouldn't hurt to have both. I mean, because I like each product for different things. So, I brushed it all out. The thing about the wig wax, it brushes out really nice. So, it doesn't have that stiffness, or you can see it looks like I don't have any product in it at all. Eva's asking if, this is, if these products are only for synthetic hair. The styling products work great in real hair. Yeah, and I think even like the John Renault, I think it says on there that it's formulated for human or, or synthetic. synthetic wigs. Yeah. Um, but gosh, y'all can tell what my favorite. When we had are. the wig wax, Mimi came in, and she got here before me, and it was sitting out, and she was like, "Oh, <laughs> this stuff is wonderful." She just sprayed it all in her hair, and it looked mm -hmm. great. So again, I put this in here once before, but I just brushed it all out. Again, I focus at the root. So start. Give your a good shape, root, root, root. You know, those molecules are tiny too. I never looked at it under this many lights. and but Just look at the hole just from the spray. That's crazy. I mean, my goodness. So if you like one of those styles that has that super like faux hawk, this would be great for it. Always work it in though. Use your fingertips, work it in. Then when you got it, all your volume, then start putting your texture in there with your fingertips. Your fingernails work great for this. I can't get Kim to wear a short wig like this. <laughs> one of these days we're gonna get her in a short one. Well, haven't I, you're, you're right, I don't have a short one. You used to have a an Ignite. Oh, I still have an Ignite. So this is the the piece, the wig wax. So it works much the same. The hold isn't as strong as the Peace Out Cream. So what I would do after I got this one like I like it, again, hit it with just a little of that shape. Do any final touches on it, and then I'm ready to go. I should have worn my mask today. Ready to go. I know. I thought about that as being trapped in this tiny room. <laughs> ah. So, once you get that, then what do we do? What's our last step? Well, you already did the hairspray. Oh, this hair. You, you use this hairspray next? I do. Okay. This hairspray I love for my hair, and I love for my wigs. It's called Control by uh, Hair You Wear. And I don't know if you can see, but on the nozzle, there's a H, M, and L, meaning high, medium, and low, depending on what type of spray you want. So it allows you to control how much product you're putting on. Yes. And like I mentioned earlier, if, if you're not a hairstylist or if you just really don't know about the products, anytime you have a pump hairspray, like I said, I consider that a working spray, which means you're going to put it in and work it in. And you might want to get texture, you might want to get, you know, pieciness, you might want to just do that. But this, any kind of aerosol is more like a finishing spray. So it really just sets and holds the style that you've got. So just, I'm not going to spray it because I've already like filled her lungs once, but I would just put this on that's at okay, go ahead. the end. So just spray it on at the end and that's going to give you your fantastic hold. So if you're in the wind, oh, okay, yeah, I got to open this door. <laughs> if you're in the wind or anything like that, then you don't have to worry about your style moving. It's just great. And I just love it. Have I said before, I love this wig. Yes, that right. one's cute right. too. What else do we have? Well, we have the implements that we use. If you don't have a, two people came in this week and had never had a wig brush. They have wigs, but they've never had a pin brush like this because they were scared to use it. So they have been using something else. And I'm like, no, these are made for your wigs. And they're great. They are. They are great. But not on heat defiant. Oh no, you do not use that on, you're gonna pick your heat defiant wigs. So like what I've got on, I've got Eclat on by Ellen Villa, and so it's heat defiant. Uh, this one is heat defiant and it has curls, so you're never ever gonna brush this, you're always gonna pick it. This is the John Renault pick. Um, we have them on our site. 
um, they sell different picks at the beauty supply, just do not brush or heat defy it. Mm -hmm. Wigs, they, the way they describe it to us is it's like curling ribbon. So when you put, when you pull on that fiber, it tends to curl up and it's going to fray faster if you brush it. Uh, we'll take a, a quick question because Sue's asking about January. Do you brush out January, which is a wig by John Renault, when it's wet or when it's dry? Um, everything, everything is going to tell you not to ever brush a wig when it's wet. I still do. I mean, because I don't want, if I'm washing it, you always want to make sure the tangles are out before you wash it. But after it's washed, I don't want it to dry if it's got any more tangling in it. So I do pick it out um, really lightly. And then once I get it all picked out, spray your leave-in conditioner in, scrunch that curl back in, let it dry. Yeah. So. Okay. What about? Oh, wig rip. Our most favorite product. Yes, this is good. essential. Normally when people come in the store and they say, what else do I need with my wig? We tell them you've got to have a wig grip. We don't even tell them they have to buy the shampoo and conditioner because you're going to wait two or three weeks to wash your wig, but you need this immediately. Yes. If you have any hair at all, even if it's, you, you have 10 hairs up here, this will work. Yeah. And it's Milano. These are the best on the market. We don't get paid by Milano, mm -hmm. just so you know. But we've had a lot of people send us their version of it, and nothing, and I mean nothing, works the same. These are the best. Yes, I agree. We've tried them all. Yeah, we have. We just love them. And another thing, if you don't have any hair, um, I mean, if you have alopecia where you don't have anything, then a lot of times people will want a little bit more security, and we also sell this. It stays. And that washes out with water. It's not your typical adhesive where it's not so hard on your skin. Yes, this is in body adhesive. So even if you have, you know, your clothing or something where you just need to hold, you know, that up or your shirt's too low or whatever. We have people from the drill team that come and buy it every year just to mm -hmm. keep their clothes in place. I mean, and I have hair, but there is one particular wig that I wear by John Renault. And for some reason, the lace just itches me so badly. Most of mine, this has lace front. Most of mine that do don't bother me. But I will take a little bit of this literally come up here make one swipe across my forehead and then put that lace down and it keeps any kind of friction and it just makes it not itch okay so. steven says that nothing compares to milano steven has a wig salon in uh, utah so mm -hmm. he knows what he's talking about karen says she loves her some it stays that's yes. really great yes what else we got in our little treasure box here well we've got we haven't talked about these oh no oh well we saved the best for last yes i'm telling you No, no week is complete without mentioning our favorite tool. Hot tools. This is the plastic. So it's a hot air brush. Now I will say, I think they're getting hotter than they used to. Oh yeah? So do be careful. I mean, I we use these every single day, just about. Every day. And there's two sizes. There's the one inch and the one and a half inch. Um, I've got the one inch. You can't tell the difference from the box, but well, there is a little difference in the picture. You yeah, can tell one's bigger than the other, but typically if you have a longer wig, you're going to want the bigger one. If you've got something shorter, you're going to want the smaller one. Yeah, I mean, like, you would only want the, the smaller one if your wig's like my, my length. Um, the one and a half inch just is good for smoothing. It's not good for adding curl. So if you want to add curl, get the smaller one to a shorter, for a shorter wig. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What else? I think that's it. Did you We've got more, y'all, but we just couldn't show physically everything that we have. No. So all of the products we did talk about today are linked in the com was that called comments or description or it's a little arrow that's a drop down. <laughs> and so it's gonna be at the bottom of the screen. If you're looking on YouTube, it's gonna be on the right hand side directly under our picture and it's just a little bitty ups no, it's a just a little arrow. You just click on it and then boom, everything drops down. Yeah, it might say more or something like that. Um, but also I want to point out when you're using the hot tools, the hot air brush, um, the, the thing that's not your wig's friend is dry heat. So that's why if you open the oven door or, you know, a candle, anything like that is, is going to ruin it immediately. So stay away from heat. Um, if you're using the hot air brush, 
it's always a good idea to moisten it a little bit, even if you just have to use water. Um, but I always use the Restore, the leave-in conditioner, this pink one, and it. I just mist it on, then use that, and it just protects it. And I'm telling you, it makes a huge, huge difference. Hey, now. Uh, when you say moisten it, you're not talking about spraying directly on the brush. You're talking about moistening Putting the, the wig. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure. Yeah, and I think we, oh, I don't think, I know somewhere on our YouTube channel there's a video where um, it's just short, doesn't even show anything but the wig and the products, but I show what the hot air brush does. So um, you can check that out if you have any questions if you've never used it. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it. Oh, no, it can't be it. It's not it. There's more. What else do we I have? have talked enough. Why don't you tell all this? I never get it right. You'll get it right. And if you don't, I'll correct you. You can do it. I just do all the products because, All right. Know. We're going to do something different for the wig of the week. It's going to be wigs of the week. There's a collection of five. What we decided to do is pick the top five um, Noriko sellers. And we um, got a coupon code for that. What is BOGO5. BOGO5. So that is saying five products, and it's going to be on Sky, Reese, Claire, Corey, and May. Oh, yeah. Let me put my May back on. Yeah, put your May back on. Yes. So all you got to do is go add and two. And so you buy one, you get the second at half off. Mix and match. It doesn't have to right. be the same. It doesn't have to be the same. Just it has to be within that five um, group collection. So BOGO 5. Buy one, get one half off. So... They're all machine made. They're all regular fiber, so there's nothing heat defiant. They are classic top sellers for Noriko. They're top sellers for us, and they, they're they great styles to mix and match. Yes. Awesome. No, Beth, <laughs> Mimi's special colors are not included in that sale. We can't do that because they charge us so much more for And they're for, just too hard to get. Yeah, they're hard to get. So. I mean, they take like four months. Yeah. And so, I mean, they, they sell so well that we just we couldn't keep up with keeping them ordered. So. Yeah, Deborah May looks beautiful with a bang in it. Mm -hmm. so. This does. It has a side sweat bang already. But um, you can trim a little wispy in here. And if you did, it would kind of look like Alva just had a little bit more stack in the back. Yeah, it's a little shorter than Alva, too. Yeah, and it's got it's not as heavy down here. But, yes, super cute. All right, well, everybody, I hope everybody has a great week. Me too. I hope Misty doesn't have any more trash can drama. We'll find out today when I get home. Yeah. <laughs> um, Karen on fire is an in-store only wig, so we can't run a special on that. Yeah, and if you do want it, you'll just have to give us a call. Yeah. And we'll help you out on that. Yes. All right. All right. Y'all have a great week. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same place, I'm assuming. Yes. Unless we decide to move between now and then. <laughs> or go on a field trip. We oh. can go on stay it. On we location. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. I'm doing good to get here every day. All right, ladies. Thanks again. Have a great week. You're going to see your struggle. I'm telling you. Next week, we're going to have a desk, and this mouse is going to work. Well, we're not gone yet. We're still here. <laughs> you thought I was joking when I said I fought with the <laughs> Yeah, I'm knocking st What did I do? <laughs> oh my goodness, let me stop TikTok. <laughs>